I just recorded a podcast with Jarrett uh, Weber y- yesterday or the day before, and we ended up talking about uh, Ouija boards. And it's insane to me the idea that Ouija, like, we could probably all agree that Ouija boards, uh, they existed before, like, it became a board game, right? Like, Hasbro didn't invent that idea. It was probably something, Salem or something, right? Like, yes. that was probably. Yeah. So, I can't imagine another example of someone turning, like, actual, like, seance, like, strategy into a children's game and capitalizing on it. I just feel like that's such a such an insane concept to me. Talking to spirits is definitely something that can market to the kids of today. And I think this can branch off into plenty of other things. And it's it's just a seed right now, but it could I feel like it could be something of this there's another example of something that's like witchcraft or in that realm and then that turning into a board game satirically, you know what I mean? Yeah, like a, a pentagram type game, right. you know. Yeah, like instead of hangman, call it pentagram. Pentagram. And it would be for <laughs> devil worship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you turned a voodoo doll, like Hasbro, or like I can't even think of any other Toys R Us started marketing a voodoo doll and be like, it's a silly idea if it hurts your friends and someone takes it real serious and there's message boards about how to make it work better. Yeah. You can put um, little things on your real body, so if you press the voodoo doll, you feel yeah. it. <laughs> oh, that's a Black Mirror episode. <laughs> yeah, you could have, like, Ghost Hunters, the home game. The home game, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that doesn't exist. Yeah, like, you hear, like, a whooshing noise, and then you have to guess what kind of spirit... <laughs> Or specter it was at some point in time. <laughs> it is specter. <laughs> it's funny to me that like people do take Ouija boards seriously, and they're still the one. Like there's there's definitely a Venn diagram of people who take Ouija boards seriously and people who still like buy a Ouija board at Target. Like they're like, I want this to work, and I've been researching this for a while. I think Target's got the best price. I don't want to make my own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah first of all why make your own right <laughs> and and let's face it let's go to a brick and mortar store yeah uh, you know you don't want to order it on amazon because you don't want workers to be you know out of a job so, <laughs> even though you're you're gonna unleash hell on earth because right. every ouija board thing i've ever seen has never been like casper the friendly ghost no you know? <laughs> that's <laughs> <laughs> that's like one of like the like the legitimate critiques that i've seen like on message boards of being like you know the problem with ouija boards and he's serious is you yeah. can't direct which spirits you're opening the gateway to so right. you gotta be careful yeah <laughs> like you've got a relative that's a mass murderer you're like all right all right <laughs> you, you are not playing with the ouija board because yeah. we have no idea if your uncle Vinny's gonna come through yeah, yeah, you were invited to the picnic anyway, so just stay out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you've got a new bit, Rich. I, I, I really think it do. Could be something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you buy a board game, you could put like a GPS tracker in the box. Yeah. So you could like find out who's playing it where, and you could have some guy with like a drone with like a speaker on it. Oh get, like, no! Fly <laughs> right right out their window and like play spooky noises and shit. Like a Scooby Doo <laughs> episode, where you're like, "Well, what I did was it was a lot of smoke and mirrors." And like, <laughs> 2020 Scooby Doo, where they use drones instead of like like a like a pulley system and a and a sheet. <laughs> Economics might not work, but it, it'd be fun. Yeah, that would be awesome. And then the GPS tracker tells you they never played with the game. It's like they're all excited. <laughs> oh, my God, we wanted this. And then you find out for the next five years, they never opened the box. You know what I mean? Was, like, you yeah. son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> One of the Christmas presents that they forgot was in, like, the back closet and never yeah. unwrapped it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you need is GPS or chips and all the pieces of the game. Because mm-hmm. you can never find all the pieces. Yeah. We're playing Clue now. I've got everybody <laughs> home. 
So I've got a 25, 23, and a 21-year-old, plus my wife and I, and we can't find Miss Scarlet. We have no idea where the hell she went to. Oh, so, for real? Including yeah. The- <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not the real Miss Scarlet. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, of course. You got to get your alibi in order. I have no idea who that is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry. I feel I just ruined a good idea. No, you're good. <laughs> you guys, are, there, are there games you guys are playing? Uh, we are. Yes, because um, because there's nothing else to do. Yeah, uh, Tiger King is over. <laughs> Watch that. That's awkward watching that with your children. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, your children are grown, right? They are. Yes, they are. But you know, I feel like you never outgrow that. I mean, I did, some some kids. Like people my age, they will where they're like, yeah, with it's yeah, I watched this movie with my parents, and I was like. It doesn't matter if I have a 401k. I just feel like I'll never be able to watch certain scenes with yeah. my parents to be like, I'm going to fast forward this. You guys got to yeah. leave the room. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with you. Fifty Shades of Grey just is not going to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, Mom. Come on, Dad. Let's uh, right. sit down and watch this. <laughs> hey, remind you of something there, Dad? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> so back to the, the game. We've had a few ideas. The voodoo doll and then the the Ouija board with the GPS tracker. And yeah. You mentioned a pentagram. You could put that on like a twister sheet on the floor. A twister floor. sheet to the yeah. You get in the right one. position, it unlocks. Yeah, dance with, the, dance with the Devil. That's, that would be the name of that game. Dance with Instead the Devil. Dance Dance Revolution, Dance with yeah. the Devil, and you're just you commanding the other the another world. <laughs> yeah, you make like uh, Kool-Aid. It's goat's blood. You know what I mean? It's just, I'm all in on this idea. So, <laughs> so you guys want in on the ground floor. I want to be sure yeah. that I have investment. Well, there are devil worshipers out there. There is a there is a market yeah. for something like that. You know what's crazy is, I, I, is there a difference between devil worshipers and people like, because there are people who worship the devil, but they're not like, I've seen like they, what was it? They like were do you guys see you know the, the Netflix remade Sabrina the Teenage Witch a few years ago and like they were upset because they copyrighted or used one of their statues of of the devil like the goat sta- half goat half man right right in the show and like the church of the devil I don't know what they're right. called sued Sabrina the Teenage Witch or Netflix they're like, called so, Satanists Satanists, yes, that's it, and it's it's not as crazy, I don't think, as devil worshiper, but they no, just no. believe Satan was just like he's just yeah. part of it. Yeah, wasn't there like a Satanist statue in Detroit somewhere? Yeah, I think it's either in or they tried to put it in, but yeah. So yeah, that's weird. Well, you know, there's all different types. Apparently, if you do, com- if you do comedy, you know that you're going to run okay. into it. Yeah. What else can we do, Tom, with the pentagram game? I don't know. You could have like 40 plastic candles because you don't want kids playing with real candles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the concern candles would be. Candles yeah. everywhere. <laughs> Just a shitload of candles. I don't know what the rules of the game. Do you have any rules ideas? Is it a I game think- or is it just a set of equipment? I mean, there's rules to the Ouija board, but that's more so like rules out of respect for demons. Like, so you close the gateway all the way and don't leave the screen door open. Like, it's more like those rules if you want to do it safely. And it's more so just like, here's a tool to resurrect your dead cat or whatever. So they're more like rules, you know what I mean? Here are some ideas. And there is a 100% chance that this game would only be sold at Spencer's Gifts. Yeah. (laughs) That's the only place it would be. (laughs) And probably uh, sidewalk vendors. That was yeah, the yeah. Other, yeah. <laughs> that have knockoff of like coach purses and stuff like that. You could sell it at Comic Con, I bet, because they have some pretty dumb. Oh yeah. Things. Although that's more of a guy thing, and this is probably more of a girl thing. I guess mm-hmm. teenage girls maybe do go to Comic Con. I'm just being Dude, sexist. Is there kind of a paranormal section department in Comic Con? Does it does it go that route to where that would fit? Or just uh, there anything. It could be. Yeah, because you get into the sci-fi fantasy stuff. Yeah. So, but I don't really know if it gets into the netherworld type of thing. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? The show Lucifer was based on a comic book. So yeah. Oh, they, oh okay. So yeah. Well, they isn't there of, uh, isn't there Spawn? Isn't Spawn part of that too? Yeah, like characters that came from hell. And, yeah. yeah. Ghost oh, Rider. Hellboy. Oh yeah, duh. Well, <laughs> no, I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Just a bunch of uh, my little Satanist starter kit. My yeah. or little Satanist. My, my little witch. <laughs> witch kit. Easy bag hell on earth. Yeah, fun for the whole Manson family. <laughs> I'm comedian Tom Walma. I'm Bill Morrison. I'm Richie McClonus. And this is Creativity Wasted. Anything you guys want to plug? Well, it's coronavirus, but podcasts or whatever you're doing. Yeah, I'm just back on my podcast, Hunting Rabbits. I just posted stuff, so like Hunting Rabbits on Facebook. Pizza Must presents no shows right now. No shows? What the hell? Can't you book anybody? No, no one will oh. come. Oh. <laughs> well, no, the comedians will come. Just nobody They'll else will. If you had an Ebola outbreak, but you said there was going to be 100 people... The comedians would be like, hell yeah, man. Sign me up for that show. Yeah, <laughs> wrap me up in Kroger bags. I'll be on my way. Yeah. I have a website, creativitywasted.com, and I also started a Patreon. So if you love the show, consider donating to Patreon. 